<laughs> we're on it works I'm actually using my cell phone to record myself on a GoPro so I can see what uh, <laughs> see what you know angle lens thingy we are anyway hey I'm Tim thanks for joining me I'm thinking about doing something a little bit different it's been a while uh, I've been trying to figure out how to get more content out to you guys and one of the things that uh, that that kind of struck me is I have a lot of tackle like a boatload of tackle and it's not on the wall so the other day you see behind me I put up this black tackle wall uh, nothing but pegboard uh, drilling and some studs and I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna organize a little better now I do have a tackle wall already uh, it's horrible uh, it's pretty it's pretty ghetto but nonetheless it's a tackle wall I got some everything thrown up here from uh, your Zuri crankbaits to some Strike Kings to some to some Z-Mans, Powerbait Zooms, and I just threw a bunch of stuff on the wall. But now, uh, um, I want to sort of separate things. Now I'm gonna have uh, a nice little section of my favorite, Six Sense. Uh, second favorite, maybe like Strike King, maybe a section for some Zoom stuff. But I don't wanna try to hunt through this, this, this smorgasbord of a tackle wall I have over here. I want things to be organized. I like things to be symmetrical. It may not be as symmetrical as I want because you can see there's, there's nine, nine squares, but that's okay, who's counting? Anyway, so that's what we're gonna do. Every Wednesday I'm going, to, or every other Wednesday I'm gonna to try to drop some information about some baits that I have. How do you fish the baits? How do you tie the baits? When do you fish the baits? Why do you fish the baits? And those types of things, uh, just inspired by several people on Instagram, uh, several people on YouTube, uh, just giving out content to the people. So I'm gonna do this, do the same thing. So this video is just me uh, introducing the idea. If you have more ideas that you would like me to do with regard to, even if you have ideas on how to fix my tackle wall, drop it down in the description. If you do it, I will shout you out the following week and then I'll add whatever it is that you recommended that I add to my tackle wall. How do we get all of this onto the wall? Let's get back to the garage. Sidebar. Let's go. Here right now, I apologize. There are locusts out there. Man, it is hot, really hot. And uh, sounds like a thunderstorm. So. What I'll probably end up doing is six cents right here. I'll go with a smaller contingent uh, of, maybe I'll do Z-Man right here. Uh, and I'll probably do Strike King up at the top. Or we'll see, we'll see. But that's, we're gonna go with it. If we have to change things around, we will. We don't have many of these. Man, it's just, it's just like a perfect fit. We'll go with it. I'll tell swim baits right here. These are 3.8, uh, 3 I think these are fours, 4.4 grass candy. But we will talk more about uh, what each one of these are later.
It's so loud, I'm not even certain that you guys are even hearing it. Yeah, well, let me stop the video right here. I have a boatload of baits to go. There's absolutely no way I'm gonna get these baits up before my kayak gets flooded. Bad part is I think I got one of the <laughs> compartments open. Anyway, this is Tim. Look for me again next Wednesday. We're gonna kick off this What's on the Wall Wednesday. Basically, we're just gonna do bait reviews. Uh, we may, you know, do things like go over terminal tackle, how to tie different uh, uh, baits. And again, this is why to fish, how to fish, when to fish, that type of thing. So thanks for joining me tonight. We're going to end it right here and we're going to move on uh, to the next video. See you guys next week.